Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Cronus Blindly Plays Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Now this is, I believe, the final game, at least as of right now, of the Danganronpa series. So yeah, I've been a fan since I played the first game, so let's go ahead and get started then. Uh, if you load the save day, you will unlock the special alert. I was told about this. I don't have a demo save, so unfortunately I can't do that. I'll look into what the reward is uh, later. And, uh, so yeah, I mean, it kind of stinks, but whatever. Please select the... I would... Wait, what? Please select which voice... I'm gonna go with English. Because we've been playing in English this entire time. Uh, yeah, new game. I don't know why I had to select that twice, but sure. Logic difficulty... I guess we'll just go with mean, right? We've been playing it on mean since the first game, so... Actually, I think I played Ultra Spirit Girls on normal, didn't I? Well, I'm pretty bad at those types of games. I mean, I'm bad at every type of game, apparently. Um, but yeah, let's just go with mean be beginners beware. Game start. That? Oh, okay. So yeah, there's, there's images from... Everything! Okay. If you're wondering, I did watch the, uh, the anime recently. I enjoyed it. I know some people wanted me to do aww. I was wanting me to do a, uh, sort of reaction video. I just, I, I had no real interest in doing that. And I wanted to avoid copyright at all possible. There was also a review, but I'm just not really good at reviews. I will say, I wish the anime had more Ultra Spirit Girls in it, though. Also, episode 10 of the Despair arc was just goddamn awful to watch. <laughs> it was so heartbreaking. I think it was episode 10, yeah? Uh, Team Danganronpa. I mean, I'm assuming they're probably going to make more of these in the future, right? If they have a team, then again, they could just disband the team, but still. Actually, they were in the news recently, weren't they, Danganronpa? Something about them pulling their games off the PSN or something like that? But I think they were doing it for self-publishing reasons. Uh, nothing. No light, no sound. No form, no voice. No knowledge of who I am. Who am I? Who am I? I extend a hand. A hand that belongs to no one. To take hold of my existence. Are we being born right now? Oh, hi. This is me. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. Okay, Kaede, let's try to remember that. I just remembered who I am. Nice to meet me. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. Oh, okay. Hey, it won't be creepy when we view the shower with all the girls this time around, right? Because we'll be one. It's kind of a cop-out, actually, but whatever. Hey, no creepy peeping, maybe. But maybe we'll peep on the boys this time. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell to the floor. I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. But thanks to that pain, I went from a daze to annoyed. <laughs> I went from daze to annoyed real quick. Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I was really hoping for way more voice acting than the other games. I heard my throbbing head, uh, forehead. Yet, yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. I look around. A classroom. You know. Now that I take a look at it a little bit, I can see it. But if I came out of anywhere, and this is the first thing I saw, I would not go, a classroom? I would go, oh my god, is this a torture room? Yeah, this is a classroom, all right. But I just could be wrong, hashtag. But I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? 
I need to find a way to adjust the voices. There wasn't an option button, so hopefully when I get control of the character, uh, I can go into the options and jack up the voices. Oh, is this a dream? I don't have to, I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinch my cheek and make a weird noise, but all of that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end I just couldn't. Bam. <coughs> Suddenly the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... A boy came stumbling out. <coughs> A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student, too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head... Ah. Seems about right. He screamed as if he'd just seen a monster, fell on his bus butt, and scooted back. So you dirty your pants. Ah. Uh, who are you? Are you one of those guys? Huh? What other guys? The people who kidnapped me! Um. Kidnapped? Wait! Where am I? What are you gonna do with me? Hey. Hey, hold on. I firmly gripped his shoulder. You know? What's your name? Huh? Huh? Uh, um. Okay, you're not gonna say it? You're gonna, you're gonna make me say it? You're gonna make me look like a fool? I do that enough as it is. Alright, I'm, uh. Suichi Saihara? On a scale from 1 to 10. What do you think? I probably get one of those, right? Yeah. I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Now listen to me, Suichi. Got it? Shut up! You're not the only one who's confused right now. Huh? Uh, sorry. After making him shut up, I retraced my steps again. I like her. <laughs> That's right. I was kidnapped too. I was walking my usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Ah, 2020. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. And then I lost consciousness. That's right. And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. Huh? Same as me. Were you kidnapped by the same people? Uh, it seems like it. Jeez. But why me? My family's not rich and I'm no, no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl. There's no reason to kidnap me. Uh, okay. Me either. I'm just a regular guy. And this is a school, right? Why did they take us to a school? So we're not ultimates? Um. I wonder why. Hey there, I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give you a basic explanation of the controls. Use the left stick to uh, control the reticule on the screen. When you have a target in your sights, press the A button to investigate. Use the R stick to control your views. Get a good look at your surroundings. You can also press the RB button to smack objects. Who knows, you might find something amazing. You can also press the LB button to return objects to their original place. Excuse me, so relax. However, not every object can be moved. Thank you for understanding. You press the Y button, a mysterious, in <laughs> mysterious investigative power will activate. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information, but if you get anything, you can press the Start button pretty much to review the controls. Investigate the place thoroughly, that's how you'll progress the story, you know? Okay, but like, menu. Menu. Okay, that's new. So we have the spider sense. So you want us to look at the board. But before that, smack. Ah! That's a missed opportunity. Yeah, how how menu? Control. I know I want Oh, X. X going to give it to you. I don't have a handbook yet. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Hey, Suichi. Um. 
Anyways, let's just stay calm and think I am, uh, think. I'm sorry I shouted at you earlier. No. I'm not. No, it's okay. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Hey. Anyways, this place is weird. You don't think we got caught up in something bad, do you? Uh, define bad. Uh. Something bad. What's going on? What's getting into our, uh, getting ourselves, what are we getting ourselves into? Yeah, let's check this out. We woke up inside of these. But why were we in these in lo lockers in the first place? Smack them! No. Uh, smack them. No? Okay. Monitor. Is this a monitor? Nothing is being displayed right now. Seriously, though, what is it? It really seems out of place here. Smack! Oh, come on! This is the blackboard? It looks like a screen. That's a blackboard, right? Every classroom has one. This blackboard's also an LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day. Boo. So I... Oh, this. The outside of the window is covered in greenery and barbed wire? That looks like it's on the inside, dog. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? So yeah, I guess the next one is the door? Where am I? Why was I kidnapped? Who kidnapped me? I don't understand this at all. But that doesn't matter, at least for now. Hey, let's just get out of here as fast as we can and find some help. Uh, okay. Y yeah, good idea. We ran as uh, ran as fast as we could out of the classroom, and open it with all uh, to the classroom door and open it with all a stray. Which thing? Ugh, can't talk. But then. Hell yeah! Found you. Okay. Boss time. What? A, a monster? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is bad. We need to get out of here. O okay. Where are you gonna go? Wait, 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 Like a dungeon crawler look. God damn it. Oh. Don't go that way, over here! I mean I wasn't going to. Have you did you see the monster machine? He was doing the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. jeez. Oh, what are those things? I don't know, big machines from Terminator 2? Here? The gym! Always a good place to go in school. Especially when you're about to enter a killing game. As we frantically dro dove towards the door, we saw something we never expected to see. Oh, more people have arrived. Hi. Huh? Why? Why? Why that character in the background? Why? Did you all get chased by that monster too? Yeah? That guy's smart. He's wearing a mask. Uh, oh, yeah. What are they? What do they want with us? I think they wanted to kill us. Do you want me to check on what's happening? You can't! It's too dangerous out there! Sure. It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. Yes, Igor, yes. Wait! I shut at the top of my lungs. Who are you guys? And why am I here? And that makes 16. What? I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us, all high schoolers. Yeah, that's debatable for a few of you, I think. I can, uh, I can see at least three that I would like to see their identification to see if they're old enough to be in high school. What do you think that means? Also, the guy on the far right seems to be a little too old for high school. Sixteen high schoolers. Hey. 
Okay, okay, maybe he was on the left? Oh, right. Didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Omami. Rantaro. I can give you my name. It's Rantaro. I'm sorry, but... Let's leave it at that for now. What? Um, okay. You know... Anyway, why does it matter if there's 16 of us? There might be more coming. No. Nah, I think this is all of us. If this is what I think it is, anyways. What? If this is what you think it is. Hey! What are you, some kind of f fucking know-it-all? If you know something, just spit it out! It was at that moment, a large, uh, an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Okie dokie! <laughs> okay, everyone! Quiet down! Simmer down, simmer down! Oh. No, no, it's simmer down. That seemed different. What? Huh? Who's there? Or who's that? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, hi. I was not expecting that, actually, to be quite honest. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us! Oh, they're all gonna be Monokumas. I hate it. <laughs> are you serious? Damn it. There are more monsters? We're surrounded! Ah. These aren't monsters, they're... Exosiles! And that's that! They're highly mobile, bipedal weapon platforms! What? Weapons? Hell yeah! Should we take these for a spin by kill one of them? Ah. <laughs> Wait a minute! I wouldn't be any fun picking on plain good-for-nothing commoners! <laughs> <laughs> You're right! You should be. You should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come gushing out like toothpaste. That's oh. disgusting. Please, not like toothpaste. Oh, gory. Um, I just imagine it. I can't handle gore. Well. Uh, then what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one like string cheese? Oh. Man, string cheese is delicious because it is stringy. Yeah, weird how that works, right? Please, not like string cheese either! Ah. Nice facial expressions. Wait, we can't kill them with the exosiles. Exosiles? Sure. According to the schedule, the exosiles aren't supposed to show up till later. What are you saying? But we're in the exosiles right now. Ah. Oh, so we are! Oh. We screwed up. We're supposed to be the. Uh, we're, we're not supposed to be in the exosiles for our first appearance. I told you you should have read the script. What are you saying? No, you didn't. Well, why don't we just get out of these mechs? It shouldn't be too late for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do that. So. Okay, ready? They're gonna all be Monokumas. Yeah. None of more black and white though. Mono Tora, Mono Suki, Mono Fanny, Mono Dam, Mono Kid. At least she's wearing a bra, right? Don't want to get too lewd for, uh... You guys are tiny for YouTube. Dots? Huh? Hey. See? We're out of the exiles. Now we're not scared anymore, right? 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 Aww. His desperation is strangely terrifying. You guys ready? You punk asses better brace yourself. And he's just outright terrifying. That's right. I'm a messenger from hell, from the depths of hell. They're here to drag you down to hell. Hey, you. No, no, Mono Kid. You're saying hell too much. It's ruining the hellish impact. Hey. Oh, what's hellish impact? Or hellish mean? Hey, what's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? I, I have no idea. Hey. Moving stuffed animals. Oh my god. On top of that, it seems they're calling themselves Mono Cubs. What? Moving stuffed animals? Mono Cubs? Huh? Wait, you guys call yourself the Mono Cubs? Dots. So. Oh, don't bother asking Mono Dam. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. Isn't that right, Mono Dam? Apparently. Uh, Mono Dam, you won't even open your heart to me? Dots. Looks like I was right. This is exactly what I thought it was. But who's behind it all? Why this ridiculous theatrics? Shut up! 
Dude, uh, shut up, you. All you are, uh, all you are reacting way too normally to this. It's boring. Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring too? Oh, wait a minute. You think maybe they haven't been given their, they haven't been given their first memory yet? Huh? That should have happened before they woke up. Hey, it's my question. If you guys are monocubs, then uh, who are, who the hell are you, punks? What do you mean? What? We're just wondering, do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Ultimate talents? I don't have one. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. Me either. I don't have anything like that. Yeah, same here. I knew they haven't gotten their first memory yet. Uh, Mono Fanny, weren't you in charge of that? Dots. Put on some pants, too. Uh, she's asleep. She's sleeping? Did she really tire? Uh, she Did she really seem tired? Really tired to you guys? Stupid. She's obviously faking. Even she is faking. She looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. Uh, if you say so. Anyways, if you guys really are the monocubs, then... Uh, don't worry about us. The real issue is you, bastards. Well, issue is putting it mildly. This is actually a huge problem. You all have gotten your talents and become generic high school students. Huh? Forgotten? So. See, according to the backstory, there's this ultimate hunt going on. You all got your lost your memories and became different people because of the ultimate hunt. Um, what are you talking about? Well, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. The first thing we need you guys to do is remember your true selves. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. What? Man, they really love the memory trope, don't they? What the? Are you awake already? Why? I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? How are we supposed to talk to when you keep asking so freaking many questions? Yeah, we're not some so uh, swift-footed singer who lands another future ex-boyfriend. Dots, maybe from Monodam. Well, let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school or school wieners. That's right. First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. Okay. Okay. Oh, magical girl transformation! It's a dream come true. Oh, backpack. <laughs> okay, uh, um. <laughs> huh? What am I wearing? Oh, look good. Now you look more like ultimates, aka weirdos. Uh, ultimates, really? So. Yep, next up, memory you've all been waiting for. Get ready! Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain uh, in the domain of the re killing game. Okay. K killing game. All right. Now then, after the flashback light helps you remember your amazing talents, this amazing story will begin for the for, 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 for real this time. All right. Bye. Oh my blinking eye! God, my eyes. That looked extremely painful. Do you want to save? Yeah, I mean, I guess. There you go. Oh, hey, it doesn't continue after? <gasps> That's awesome. We're going to go on a little longer, though. Ultimate Revival. Dots. Huh? <laughs> it went back to the locker? Dots. Oh, we got a yellow text box now. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. <laughs> ah. I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. 
But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing head. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bum. I looked around. A classroom? I said for the second time this episode. Yeah, this is a classroom, all right. But I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? You're staying inside the closet. Not, not closet locker. Uh, this is a dream. Is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek. But all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as well, uh, confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end I just couldn't. Bam. <laughs> Whoa. Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and... A boy came stumbling out. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student. Still debatable. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head... Haru, don't freak out at me like I'm some sort of monster. Huh? Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm sorry too, okay? I just have no idea what's going on. Yeah. But all the more reason why we don't stay calm. Oh... What? Gino... Petty number one? Gino... No, sure. By Eric Sate. Tai. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, that's right. Trying to imagine that sorrowful melody filling your head and soothing your hearts. Ultimate musician? No, wasn't that? I mean, she has a bunch of music notes on her head. A teddy bear? No, it's a monster. You can freak out about this. I don't think she was talking to you. <laughs> That's so mean. You humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. Although if we were our monsters, at least we're pretty. Didn't, at least we're pretty monsters. Okay. I agree. I'm glad I was born with these looks. I definitely won the generic uh, genetic lottery. Huh? What are they? Are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? Or why are they talking? No, we're not mono cubs. We're they're the stuffed animals. Okay. Mono kid, you're saying your lines backwards. I'm no no stuffed animals, us, the mono cubs them! Ah yeah, oh, jeez, that's even worse. Um, mono cubs? Oh, you've heard of us? Oh, no, of course not. I've never even I've never seen walking talking stuffed animals. As soon as I said that, the, these mono cub things started looking at each other and Yay! it worked! Oh, I had to worry there for a second. Hey, worried about what? I don't understand what's going on. Okay. Alright now, let's tackle each issue one at a time. You You're so damn reliable, Monotoro. He's like a sixth grader helping out a fifth grader. Hey. Which means we should keep our expected expectations reasonable. Um. Well, what's your question? I have loads of questions, but for starters, where are we? This looks like a school. <laughs> this is an interesting prologue. Okay, so this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles? Hmm. Ultimate Academy? I never heard of a school like that. That's right. Of course you haven't. This school was made for 16 uh, Cretans. For you, 16 Cretans. Huh? 16? That's right. Yeah, there are 16 Ultimates at this school. Huh? Huh, Ultimates? Well. You know what Ultimates are, right? The government scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Actually. Ultimate basically means you're practically prodigies in a particular talent. Basically, the Ultimate Initiative exists to cultivate talent throughout the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts. Like free school tuitions, voting privileges, and eligibility to run for elected office. That seems wrong. They even get grant money too. I'm in. Students chosen by the Ultimate Initiatives are known as Ultimates. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Students would do anything for the honor of being chosen Ultimate. I don't need the explanation. I already know, but because I'm an ultimate too. What? That means you gotta remember this time, so don't forget anymore. Aww. Yeah, f forgetting about your ultimate talent is such a waste. Huh? 
me. What do you mean forgetting? Shut up! Shut up! Quit your yapping and get started already! Huh? Get started with what? Well, why exploring the academy, of course. Also, well, oh, you should introduce yourself to the other ultimates. Because you guys are all going to do an activity together later. Awesome, I've got a rager right now. Well then, where? Where do you have a rager? Is it your belly button? Because that's the only thing I see poking out of you. Well, maybe your shoulders, too. Oh, God. Shoot. And they left, but I still have so many questions. Dots. Hey. This isn't a dream, right? Uh... No, but I wish it was. Anyway, we have to find a way out of here. But they said there are 16 ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? Can I get a handbook? Yeah, no. Can I save? No. Can I hit Suichi? No. Hi. Hey. Are you an ultimate student too? Uh, okay. Yeah, well then. I'm Suichi Saihara. Suichi Saihara. Ultimate Detective! Night hat. Nice hat, yeah, I get it. Huh? I was actually pretty close on the name, right? I think I got it in, like, almost... I almost got it, like, dead on, didn't I? But you're a detective? That's amazing! No. I, I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I came across, and now people call me that. No. How many people are just happened to solve a case? You should be more proud of that. Nice to meet you. Okay, pianist. Sure. Yeah, okay. Kaede, ultimate pianist. Ultimate pianist? Well, no one calls me ultimate pianist. Usually just piano freak. That seems about right. What the hell is this? Yeah, as most people do with their hobbies they enjoy. Okay, that's messed up. Also, did you not have a neck as a baby? Because I'm looking at this picture here, and there is a distinct lack of neck. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. Actually, to be fair, the neck you did grow is very small and skinny. Like, lengthwise, it's fine, but skinny. It looks like it looks like it snapped like a gust of wind. That's how you got your ultimate title. And that's way more impressive than me. No, that's all I'm good for, really. Shit, your voice sounds really familiar. I say that every game now I play. Then again, all the games I've been playing, like, the past year or two, seem to have the same voice actors and actresses. This is the first time meeting another Ultimate student. Well, well Ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. Even so, there are 16 Ultimate students gathered here now. Why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the Ultimates? Hey. Uh, about that, I don't remember. Huh? You don't remember? Uh, um... I've been trying to remember it, but I can't, no matter how hard I try. I have no, I have no idea how I got here. Okay. So, from the player's perspective, we know that there's something called the Ultimate Hunt. And these two, everyone was kidnapped here, right? But they no longer remember that. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I don't know how I got here. It's like the memory just fell out of my head. Uh, Same here. Huh? You know? I can't remember anything. Even though I was trying hard to remember. <laughs> okay, so we at least have a little bit of memory there. You were stuck in machine. What happened? Are you okay? What's wrong? No. I'm fine. I just got a headache, that's all. But... It can't be coincidence we both don't remember. What happened to us? Uh... I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. What? We're confused. We just need to relax, is all. Oh, let's imagine Maurice Revel's uh, Sonatine. Okay, you gotta stop doing that, because I don't know any of that shit, like, at all. That's... Is that music? I don't really know much about music. Suichi, high five. I see. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. All right. But first, let's look for a way out. 
if there are no other ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. Oh, if there are ultimate students here. At least one of them has to get, uh, has got to know something. Yeah, good idea. Obtained friendship fragment. You can leave the room by pressing the B button or interacting with the door. All right, can I smack him? Maybe I should have saved and end the episode before, because I don't seem to have that option, right? Okay, I'm gonna investigate everything though. Because it's gonna give me levels. Do I get a Tamagotchi again? Oh, give me a Tamagotchi. Man, these monitors are horrifying looking. Level up! It's literally just the same information. Anything else here? No? Okay, let's go to the door. Suichi looks like I smacked the shit out of him. But it wouldn't let me, so I didn't. Wow, they really need to mow the school hallway. Even though it's a hallway, there are a lot of plants growing around here. The air is heavy. Oppressively heavy, as if it's forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you in anxiety. But this is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? You've never been to school, huh? Huh. What's the matter? Uh, I just felt something in the pocket, uh, pocket of my uniform when I looked. Remember. I found this inside. Is it some kind of mini tablet computer? I think that's called an iPad. Uh. Oh, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt heavy. Uh. The word monopad is written on it. When did this get into my backpack? Hmm. My name was displayed when I booted it up, like a student handbook. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on to them for now. Yeah, I agree. Can we use them? Congratulations! You, now can, you, can, you can now use the monopad. Press the X button on the monopad, it's got tons of game information on it. So, stuff like report card and map, be sure to check it out. Oh, and if you've got a shop by, you may already have noticed, but getting close to your fellow students, your report card will be updated with contents. Since you have now, uh, since you are now acquaintances with Mr. Saihara, his info has already been added. And I bet you already noticed you can level up by performing certain actions. When you level up, your skill slots increase, so you can equip even more skills. There are a lot of skills, so view them in the report card. If you want skills, make friends, strengthen your bonds. Friendship is magic. Also, there's one more important thing to tell you. You can save and load the game from the handbook. Make sure to save all that important stuff. Well then, off you go. Find your classmates. Yeah, but first things first. I'm the realist. Second things first. Where's the option menu? Also, this actually kind of hurts my eyes. Uh, options. Voice. Exactly. Everything else can say the goddamn same. You go faster, please. Movement, Bob. I didn't notice it, so it can stay. Dress up. Okay. Well, that's something. Just stayed, right? Yeah, okay. So now voices should actually be noticeable. I'll see if I can try to fix it during editing. But, um... Seeing how the music and stuff like that seem to be kind of the same, then it might be hard to do. You dislike bicycles. Why? Dislike gossip? I can understand that. Huh. Alright. I'm just checking out the stats and stuff like that. Oh, it always weirds me out when like there's a foot difference and the characters seem like the same build for the most part. And one of them weighs 11 pounds more for some reason, though. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below if you're not subscribed yet. One of you my videos, I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.